Hey, hey, what's up? Sammy Slam here. Welcome back to a coping skill vlog for December 27th. And December 27th, my son reminded me, Oh, Mommy turns 28 tomorrow. My ex-wife turns 28 tomorrow, so happy early birthday. Alright, go ahead and play it. Sorry, my son's playing Animal Crossing. I'm trying to teach him to play on his own thing. But uh, I did I you know I wasn't gonna do a vlog. But I wanted to do I wanted to do a vlog because today was it was a good day. It was a fabulous day. And Sundays are not really good days. I mean I mean these are just the days where Ronnie gets to go back home, but I have him till next Thursday. I've had him since Christmas Eve. And man, it's it's a different year. I mean, next year I don't know what it's gonna be like. I mean I mean next year I probably won't have him for Christmas. Now I've been trying to I'm gonna ask his mom to see if I can get him for maybe Christmas evening. If we can get him for Christmas evening, it'd be great. Because we never had a evening open presents or just a evening time. It's always the morning. And well no. If not, we're gonna just do the Christmas Eve thing. It just sucks because I like opening gifts with him. When it's just all him, I mean it's cool, it's fine, just having him open all of his gifts and stuff and but usually we, we usually open one with them, which is usually it's a matching pajama set, but I don't know. So we're going to go on from there. Today, though, I mean, a typical Sunday would just be going up and going to, uh, would just be going to my parents' house and then yada yada. And, and we will also see our friend Dan Brittany when he lived here, but now in Green Tree, it's completely fucking empty. There's no one here. I mean, Dan and Brittany left. But the things though, they're still they're still marrying, but they're they're in far they're in the south. They're by Walmart, and we're on the very north. We're in Green Tree, Switzer Avenue. It's not that far. Now walking, yeah, but driving the car, no, it's it's not a problem. So it's cool. But they're over there. But the things though, of Tan and Janae are gone, and I, I yesterday I got to see Janae. It was the second time since they've been gone. Uh, her and Tan has moved out. And it's just weird without seeing Tana there. I got to talk to Tana today on YouTube, or YouTube, on Facebook chat. And, um, it's just depressing. Uh, I miss that woman. I love her to death. She's awesome. She's one of my best friends in the whole world. She's going through a lot of shit right now. And I just want to pray for her right now. Tana, Tana Renee Preston, I hope you're doing okay. My eyes are open, but I don't care. Just, any fathers, please be by her side and yada yada. I'm glad I got to talk to her today. But back to the today, I mean, we, me and Ronnie, what did we do today? I mean, we woke up late, had pancakes, didn't eat, I don't eat as much, and I had this hemorrhoid issue, maybe, and I got this other issue, this, man, just, maybe a large, large prostate, I don't know. I got a urologist appointment coming up, coming up, and then also, this week, I'm probably going to call my regular doctor to check out this hemorrhoid issue thing. So, but today was a distraction to believe. And it makes you appreciate your time with your kid. You know, uh, I mean, that's the thing. We went to hang out with our friend Dan, his wife Brittany, their friend, their family friend Ashley, and Stephen. I call Uncle Stephen. He's good Ronnie. So, I mean, all my, all my close friends, their uncles to, to my son. I don't care. So we decided today, like, hey, let's go do something, you know. And hey, at first he was just gonna, it was just gonna be me, Ronnie, and his daughter Paisley, and myself, like myself, Ronnie, Paisley, and Dan. But he wanted to bring Stephen along, which is fine. I ain't care. It's it's just a crowded car in the back. So we, what we ended up doing was our original plan was just gonna go to Gas City Park. So we ended up going not to Gas City Park, but first we went to Jonesboro Park, a little chilled area and everything, and just exploring. Just enjoying it. I mean, there was kind of a little mud and what, but it wasn't rain. Usually you go to Jonesboro in the rain or after rain. But this one, it was after snowy, rainy, but it wasn't that rainy or anything. Had a good time. I have videos. I have tons of videos, which I'll be uploading. I think I did eight videos just by today doing separate videos. I don't care. You know what? And, I, and maybe people, they don't have to see them. I put them out publicly. I share them. They're, they're good to me. That's one thing I like. I love making memories. And two, like the issues I'm going through right now, these little anxieties and these little health issues, and, or maybe big, I don't know. 
it, it's it was really great to get away and distract yourself. And we, we went to Jonesboro Park, and then we went to Gas City Park. And we, and the thing is, too, I didn't know that they did lights. I mean, I probably thought they knew we did. The park would do lights, but it ain't it ain't it ain't fucking damn Marin Indiana lights. But right here, there's a it's like you know what? Next year, from now on, when I have Ronnie on those certain days, we'll just just go to Gas City and just walk around. I mean, other than that, we can just walk around that place and just I mean, it'd be cool as hell, and just or drive around and then did go to the Marin. I mean, that would be a big adventure. Go straight to Gas City, just do the little, let's just start up, and then drive back to Marion and go and do their own thing. So, uh, but yeah, I saw it. I mean, they got, I got in the video, a couple of little basketball. We had some guy, it looked like it was like falling us, and it was annoying, but it was, I think it was just the management of Gas City. But we had an awesome time there, too. It was great. I enjoyed it. So, soon after that, Dan was ready to leave, but it's like, you know what, well, hell, let's just have a, let's have a more kick-ass time. We ended up going to, uh, ended up going to, uh, blah, blah. we ended up, uh, going, I find, I got Dan to say, let's just go to Fairmount. Let's go to Play Acres, which is Play Acres Park, and there's also the Fairmount School, which I forgot what it's called, but I got him to go, and we got to be, we got to go to Play Acres. So it was cool. It was the first time, in, it was the first time I think of Play Acres since a year since I've been there. Because the last time I went there was in last April, which I remember I was sick. I never forget that. I think it was last year or two or two years ago. I think it was last year, maybe. I don't remember. I'll, I'll have to look at the videos because I know we were there. I think either last year or two years before. I think it was last year. Cause, yeah, it was last year because we were still upstairs in the old apartment. But we had a blast. I have a bunch of pictures of Steven, well, me, Paisley, of Ronnie, and Dan, and the videos are just, they're, they're great. Those are the best things to do, is to appreciate the time you have, and like, like, really like finding out Brody Lee, a.k.a. John Huber, a.k.a. Luke Harper, a wrestler passed away, and an old legend passed away, Danny Hodge. I mean, it just sucks. This whole year sucks, and just people dying, and wrestlers that you don't care about, but you know what, you respect the sport, and you give them a cheers. Okay. But my son started and playing Animal Crossing, so we're trying this up. But it's just a pretty awesome. I'll be down. Hold on. Okay, Ronnie. But um, he's excited playing Animal Crossing. But appreciate your time, and especially like when I'm with my kid here. And here's the thing I hate when I get stressed, when I'm stressed out, I don't feel good when I'm, when I'm going for crap when I have Ronnie. There's two different sides. There's the side of me that doesn't mean, who gets annoyed that he's here? That's the immature side. And there's the mature side where, you know, just say, you know, it's your kid. Love your kid. Uh, I don't want, I'm not going to let, I'm not going to uh, uh, give up like my dad did on me. I mean, just basically have my mom do everything. You know, and I'm not trying to push him away. I'm trying to do everything I get. I try to get as much time as I have with him. And it's the best thing in the world. Appreciate your time. Appreciate your time. Because, you know, I've only get three days out of the weekend. And that's the thing, too. That's the reason why I do weekend after weekend instead of, uh, well, I do weekend after weekend and then get the free weekend. But with me being alone, I mean, me being single, I mean, I, would, I wouldn't mind getting him every week. But then again, I have a free weekend. I like having at least one free weekend. But then again, sometimes they're depressing. And you know, when you just, I don't know what Ryan's doing. I mean, after, and then when, when I, like, after coming up, when I take him back home on New Year's Eve, which this will be the last, when next, this will be next, or this will be the last single New Year's Eve. I mean, because I, ever since, well, me and his mom were not together, I don't think I've ever had Ronnie on New Year's Eve. I don't think I've had. Maybe I did. I don't know. That was with her friend, her, my ex girlfriend. Well, when we were together, her and her friend Taylor stayed. But I think that was just her. But I don't think I've had Ronnie with, with me at all since the single, since the single days, the divorce days. 
So, but th I think this will be the last year of the New Year's Eve for me. Um, this will be the last single. Because next year, for sure, I mean, things I'm going to have for Christmas, but I'm going to have them for New Year's Eve next year. I, thought, I said, you know, I'm going to... But I don't know. There, there was a time, you know, I thought, you know, maybe I could just have a New Year's Eve and celebrate the New Year's. And if we're going to be at dance, I don't know. That's the thing. It just, I don't know. I mean, if my friends have a little party going on, I don't, I don't know. But then again, I, I mean, I don't know. It's just, I'm still thinking about it. But in conclusion... I just want to, I just want to just, and I'm going to talk about my ex again on the year in review, but it's just, it's sad and depressing because this, I'm going to say it again, the year in review. I mean, this chick is a hypocrite. This chick basically, you know, said all this stuff about, oh, I don't lose my friends. And I'm going to keep repeating this all the time because I'm going to keep repeating it because it's bullshit. It's a, it's a hypocrite. Who, somebody, yeah, I mean, it's just, I mean, ever since she's left, it's like, oh, I have a new family to be around. I push all my friends to the side. Now you just keep them as Facebook friends, but the thing is, though, I heard my friend Janae message her yesterday, and she ignores her. So, who knows? I mean, this woman here said, oh, I don't lose my friends here months ago. It's so weird. This is the same exact year. And we're at the end, and it just, it's so fucking weird. I fucking, it's just weird, but it's just sad. It's just whatever. And it just gets on my damn nerves. It's just, it's like, you know, here's the thing. Oh, you know, oh, she, she, she was such a salesman. And she looks like her grandmother, Janine. And her grandma's a fucking bitch. Who fucking disrespected me because, oh, I watch wrestling. Who, who watch wrestling? I was going to say... Well, you watch Fox News. God, I'm, just, you know, I'm I'm glad to get away from it, but it's still, it's like, what? You're such a stupid bitch. And I'm glad your fucking tires got slashed. And I'll say that, I'll repeat that again in the year in review. And then again, I still have my lost, disrespected on filters that will be uploaded. But, and that's too, ooh, if you heard that, that was too, too little fart tarts for her. And I heard of her step, and I'll talk about this too in the year in review too, man. Her stepfather is supposedly messaging my friends about the whole Kari ordeal. It's like, well, Kayla knows where Jenna and Rich, Rich, she supposedly pressed charges. Well, I mean, okay. But that's on her. She knows her fucking Facebook and shit. Leave my fucking friends alone. But yeah, oh well. Christmas has come by. Christmas is over. Fastest Christmas ever. So during the internet, this day has been great. It was one hell of a day. I got distracted from the, my fucking stupid ass issues. There's, it's depressing because certain wrestlers have passed away. One too soon. One legendary that had a long life in his 80s or 90s. And then, and then with, with John Huber, a.k.a. Brody Lee. Mr. Brody Lee, a.k.a. Blue Carper from WB. And he's Mr. Brody Lee from AEW. But rest in peace. But I appreciate appreciate your times with your kid, your kids, your family, whatever. I mean, oh yeah, after we went to that, we he just hung out with Dan. Then we went Dan after that, we went to go see my parents and had McDonald's and had a little bit of time. So, but yeah, I'm SDS. Thank you for watching this, uh, this vlog. And if you like, if you like to watch my shit, if I'm entertaining or anything, just if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's just a, uh, I mean, I wish I could get paid. I wish I was famous. My big dream is to be a social media star like Jake Lake po uh, Jake Paul and all of them. But I don't know what I'm doing still. I'm 30 years old. And the one thing, goals I have is just to find a job and keep it. And not to worry all the fucking time, which that sucks for me. So, but I'm STS. Thank you for watching this Coping Skill Vlog. And I think after this, I don't know if I'm doing the Coping Skill after this, but if not, I might do. If not, I'll see you on the Here in Review.